hey what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're gonna talk about how to create a firewall for your digital ocean droplet i have a digital ocean droplet here called yt droplet which doesn't have a firewall configured so we'll try to configure a firewall uh, in digital ocean control panel so for that you can hit on create go to cloud firewalls give it a name so i'm just gonna call it yt firewall oh okay so yt firewall uh then i'm gonna allow right so if you're familiar with uh, aws then you would know these as security groups right so you would say that hey inbound traffic is only allowed in these ports and outbound is only allowed in these ports right so here you can set inbound and outbound rules right here what is being set is that ssh is allowed on port 22 using the tcp protocol to anyone with which has an ipv4 and or an ipv6 address right so we technically don't want that so to get rid of this you can close this you can delete all of this and then add a source so what you can do is you can add your own ip address so for security reasons, I'm not going to show you my IP address. So you can actually put in, you know, 192.168.1.34 whatever or something like that. You can add your own IP address if you want to restrict it. But I would highly recommend that you don't use these options, right? The all IPv4 and all IPv6 addresses. So if anyone gets hold of your private key, uh, then anyone would be able to SSH into this particular digital ocean droplet, right? So you don't want these particular options to be ticked, right? You can put in your own IP address and just use that, right? So it's not just limited to SSH, right? You can also add, hey, I want HTTPS. So you can also say that, hey, HTTP, you can allow certain IP addresses. HTTPS, similarly, you can allow certain IP addresses, right? So this is all for the inbound traffic. Remember that this is all for inbound traffic. You can also add your custom thing. So you can say that on this port, this particular protocol, uh, you can allow this particular IP address, right? So these are all about the inbound rules. Outbound rules, I think you can be a bit more lenient since you would probably using an application which might connect to the internet, right? You might want the outbound rules to be a bit lenient. You can pretty much allow all TCP and UDP traffic for all IPv4 and all IPv6 addresses on all ports. Outbound traffic, you can be a bit more lenient, but inbound is where people can get hold of your server so you have to be a bit more cautious here and then you can search for this droplet so mine is yt droplet so i can just type in yt droplet and i can select here and i can say create firewall and this will actually create a firewall so let me try to remove all of this so i'm just gonna for the sake of it i'm just gonna allow these ports and then create firewall right and yeah my firewall is now configured for this particular droplet so one thing that you need to remember when you're creating firewalls is that if you're using a github action or any of the ci cd pipelines right which have to connect to this server then you won't be able to actually use this particular this ssh 22 port restriction because you don't know from which server from which ip address github is going to ssh into this particular digital ocean server right if you have found this video useful be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and for more such interesting contents subscribe to what's coding thank you guys for joining and i'll see you guys in the next one